Hey up YouTube, it's uh, in Amica 4 again. Um, this time I'm going to be showing you uh, how to upgrade your Samsung Galaxy S2 Android operating system to an operating system which is still Android but not available through the Samsung Keys software. Um, for example, I've got, uh, I'm running Android 2.3.4 uh, on my S2 um, and when you plug it into the Samsung Keys software and tell it to check if there's any available updates it says there's nothing more even though I know Android 2.3.5 and 0.6 are available to download it's just Samsung uh, haven't got around to adding those through the key software yet so this is a way of not using Samsung keys using third-party software to update your uh, Galaxy S2 to a, a, a more of a newer operating system which cuts out uh, instabilities uh, has better better performance basically um, so what I'm going to be update upgrading to should I say is to Android 2.3.6 still gingerbread you're gonna need a couple of things for this uh, process so first of all you're gonna need the new firmware itself I will be putting a link into uh, in the description for where where you can download um, the the firmware from uh, but the firmware itself is approximately 333.3 megabytes. Um, it's Android, as I say, 2.3.6. Um, for those of you who need to know, the build number is i9100XWKK5. Okay. Um, apart from that, you're going to also need uh, a working version of Odin 3 version 1.8. Sorry, version 1.85, available to download. Just Google it. But I will put a a link in the description as I say and of course you're going to need a PC connected to the internet with the, the Samsung Galaxy S2 plugged into it via USB uh, I've already downloaded um, the firmware version it's on my desktop there uh, all I've done is for the purposes of this video extracted it straight away to this folder here underneath it and you can see there are the files inside of it all you need to do is extract the main folder the main file should I say which is a, a raw file um, don't do anything with the other files once you see them uh, I've, I've just left it on the desktop for ease of use uh, apart from the firmware you're also going to need to download a third party software called Odin 3 version 1.85 you can just google it you can download it anywhere but I will put a, a link in the description where you can get it okay so first things first uh, I've already backed up my phone so I don't take no responsibilities for any damage that might be done to your phone, neither will Samsung. Um, so first things first, uh, we load up uh, Odin 3. I'm running Windows 7, so I'm going to be right clicking on it, run as administrator. Boom, it comes up. Um, now what we need to do is select, um, usually if the phone's connected, this first box here is yellow, but it's not because I've got the phone off at the moment. It is connected, but it's off. Uh, I'll give you a reason for that in a second. So all we do is uh, first tick all of these here, repartition, auto reboot, reset, reset time. And what we're going to be doing is the buttons on the right hand side. Click on the first one which says PIT. And we need to navigate to wherever we downloaded the firmware to and extracted the files to. So I'll put it on my desktop. So I'll just locate it. Here we go. If I just lo log get to the folder and there's only one PIT file so just select it and hit open and it automatically puts it in. We need to do the same for the ones below but it's a little bit different so select bootloader okay it takes you back to the same screen you were back in before under the bootloader one what you want to do is the one that begins by saying AP boot there's only one so just put that's the one saying AP boot select it hit open next tick the PDA one now the PDA one is the one that you need to pick the one that begins by saying code okay so select it open select the next one which says phone and now uh, you need to select the one that begins by saying modem again there's only one so select it and hit OK put the tick next to CSC hit the button opens up the window now for CSC we need to download the one that says begins by saying GT now there are two of these but we're, the, we're after the shorter one which contains a word um, which doesn't contain the word home in it okay so it's that one hit open that's done now next thing that we need to do is put our Samsung Galaxy S2 in download mode now the way you can do that is it 
once the phone's off, press the volume down key, the home button, and the power button together until it switches on. Then it comes up with a window which says a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and installed applications. If you want to download a custom OS, press the volume up key, otherwise press the volume down key to cancel. Well, this is a custom OS, as I say, so we'll press the up button. Now it says downloading, do not turn off target. That's what we wanted. Now, you can see there, now that box has gone yellow, so the phone's connected. And as you can see on the phone itself, you've got the Android symbol or logo, you could call it. And there it says downloaded, do not turn off target. Now on the Odin software itself, once you get the yellow box and we've done all the options on the right hand side and the three tick boxes there, all you need to do is hit start. There you go, it says please wait, do not unplug the cable. And it goes through the, the list there on the left hand side. So we'll leave that be. We'll just turn to the phone uh, as it downloads. Just looking at the phone, you can see it started the download there, and the little bars moved on the on the computer screen as well in Odin. I may fast forward this video just to save a little bit of time. Going back to the computer, you can see the bars going across and uh, the details within the message section moving along um, just to display that and the fact that it's um, uploading the firmware to the phone. So we'll leave it be. And you can see on the computer screen there, just saying transmission complete now writing please wait about two minutes Re receive response from loc so it's probably doing some it's saying six keys succeeded once and you can see the phone's rebooting now as it's finished downloading um, it looks like odin has finished because it's got a, a pass um, on the top left of the screen and if you look at the phone you can see it's just going through the startup routine so it's probably doing some it's saying six keys succeeded once and you can see the phone's rebooting now as it's finished downloading um, it looks like Odin has finished because it's got a, a pass um, on the top left of the screen and if you look at the phone you can see it's just going through the startup routine so again I'm li leaving it do to do its thing, I'm not doing anything special. And now as it reboots, Samsung Keys is loading up on my screen, but I'll just close that straight down because we're not using that. You're just going through the boot up screen. I'll just close down Samsung Keys again because it wants to connect to the phone. In hindsight, I should have uninstalled that from the machine, but I thought I may need it at some point, but hey ho, it's not doing any damage. Okay, and on the phone itself, you can see it's done and it's saying touch it. <laughs> um, so, what we'll do, I'll just bring that back up, I'll just punch in my pin. I'm just going to change the language because it seems to be some other language. So what we'll scroll up to English United Kingdom because that's where we're at. Brilliant. Always helps to read uh, a language that you can understand. Tap the Android symbol. I'm just going to, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to skip the account creation or signing in because I've already. I can always add that in later. Just I just want to show you what the Android version is on the screen. So I'll just take those out. Next. Uh, we'll leave that okay as it is. 
and boom that's it if we just go into applications and then scroll somewhere to find settings there we go and if we go down to about and scroll down there you go there you go Android version hope you guys can see that 2.3.6 kernel number and the build number as well gingerbread that's how it's done um, you can disconnect the phone from the machine now uh, it's done uh, from the computer it's done its part there's uh, no need for it to stay connected so <clears throat> we've done with uh, Odin 3 so we can go ahead and get that closed down as the phone has finished rebooting it and it's back uh, logged in now so and we're done that's how you upgrade uh, the firmware on the uh, on an Android device, this being the Samsung Galaxy S2. So the firmware version is now Android version 2.3.6. Um, that's how easy it is. Um, any questions? Please comment below. Um, subscribe from the button above. As I say, it's free; it doesn't cost you anything. You can check out some of my first, forthcoming videos. Uh, if it's helped you out, brilliant. Um, thanks for watching, and good night.